Right, back with another video with regards to Android Auto on any head unit, not just on the Eon head unit. Right, since my last video that I posted, what, less than 48 hours ago, I consider that video as being quite successful with more than a, fo a thousand views, which for my videos is double, triple what some of my videos get. Now, in that video, I showed you the update for Android Auto for the wireless connection that's playing up and not working properly. So, mine has run flawlessly since I did the update with Android Auto to the newest version, 9.1.6310, which I will link in the... the the link to get that I will link in the bottom of this in the video description. Now people have come back to me and said, well, if you can do the split screen with Google Maps and your music, can you do it with Waze? And the answer to that is yes, you can, but not with the most recent update of Waze. Now you've got to take into account, into consideration that all this that's going on with um, Android Auto, Waze, and it's like it's all beta testing at the minute for this cool walk, which I don't really understand it. I don't use it, but people are coming to me asking for help. I don't use it. I I just use my Android head to use it as it is. I see, kind of understand why you'd want to use Waze and Android Auto because it saves you from having to download apps onto your head unit. So you don't download Waze onto the head unit, you use it off your phone. Um, and and so it, it keeps space free on your head unit. So I'm going to spin you around. I'm going to load up my head unit. It will cut off my connection when I'm recording because of the Bluetooth connections and stuff. But I'm going to spin you around. Turn the head unit on. Which is taking longer than normal. Right, there we go. So this is going to light up, Bluetooth connection, my phone will cut off. I will restart my video as soon as that connects. Dun, dun, dun. Connect. Right, connecting, that will now cut me off. No, it won't cut me off until I open T-Link. I open T-Link. Right, that just cut me off, but as you can see there, it has opened straight up. And to prove that, I'll just go back so you can see the time. Just mute that. If I go out of that, there you go, time's still the same. So it automatically connected. So let's go back onto this. Right, so I've got it on Google Maps. We've got the split screen. I've got my Bluetooth playing there. If I just turn my music on a second. Right, so it's playing that. Now, Waze, if I open up Waze app on here. And click over here. I've now got split screen for Waze. Now, and I've still got my music. Okay. So, I've got my split screen. I'm just going to spin you back around. With the most recent update of Waze, with all this beta testing, the split screen isn't possible for some reason. It's like they're doing beta testing, so they take some bits out and put bits back in, see how that bit works, then we'll move it all back together. So, like I say, at present, the most recent version of Waze doesn't do split screen. So if you want split screen on Waze, you need to roll back to an older version of Waze, which I will link in the description below, which is 4.9170.700. I'll put the link, like I said, I'll put the link in the bottom description below. So, let's spin you back around. Obviously, I've got my Bluetooth playing. I can't play it now because of copyright issues. But if you didn't want your Bluetooth playing, but you wanted to have Cool Walk open, but you wanted your radio in the background, if you pause your Bluetooth, then go out of this screen, open up your radio app or whatever it is you want playing in the background. So there's my radio app. So if I just unmute. Oh dear, Celine Dion. And then I go up here 
and open my T-Link, unmute my music. It's playing the radio in the background, but to do that, you need to pause your Bluetooth first, go out of it, open up your radio app, and then come back into it. Only certain apps on your phone will work with Android Auto Call Walk. So to find out what they are, if we go over here. These here are the apps on my phone that work with Android Auto. If I go through these, you'll see there's no, there's no radio app on here. Weather Radar, that's a new one that's only just started working with Cool Walk. So you can track what the weather's doing around you. That's going to take a moment to load up, but it does work. So there you go. So it's raining where I am at the moment. Yeah, it's raining where I am. So back out of that, we'll go back onto, yeah, we're on. And then obviously at the bottom here, it shows your most recently opened up. So for me to get um, Waze back up, I have to go back over here, go to ways and if i go back out of this it's then at the bottom in the recent apps if i go to music that's going back to my bluetooth so now the next other issue people have come back to i'm going to turn this off have come back to me um with is that they've followed the previous video and they're still getting issues with it not auto connecting now with anything you update on your phone there's two things you really need to do after you've done an update on something for it to work properly it's the same on a computer option one clear your cache on your phone and wipe the partition wipe all the data so it's starting afresh. If that doesn't, well, that should work. But before you do that, switch your phone off, switch it back on, let it reset, and it should then work correctly. So if you followed my last video with the cool walk update wireless connection working, and it's not working on your phone, turn your phone off, turn it back on, try again. If it's still not working, then wipe your partition cache on your phone. If you've got a Google phone, apparently you can't wipe the partition cache on those. Just wipe the um, data and cache of Android Auto app itself. With the Waze downgrade to get the split screen, you'll need to delete the app off your phone, delete Waze off your phone and reinstall via the link that I'm going to put in the video description. So it's basically rolling back ways to where it was when they were developing the split screen before they decided to start tinkering with it and playing around and moving to something else. But hopefully in the near future, with the next update of ways, it will be split screen um, to work correctly with Android Auto. I hope this is all making sense. Obviously, I don't use Waze. I'm not that technically minded to know about all this information. I've just done searching on the internet and found this information, and I'm just trying to put it all together for you guys to see it in a video um, rather than me trying to explain to everybody this, that, the other. So I'm going to end the video here, I think. Um... Any questions, drop them in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit share, and I'll do what I can to answer your questions. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you later.